Where in the world will we go today on episode 13 of Going Places? Today we are going to go to the Galapagos. And you may think of the Galapagos as a place to go for its fascinating wildlife. Today we are going to go for another reason, and that is to understand why the Galapagos are even there. So we're going to zoom in. Here we are, Galapagos Islands. They are part of Ecuador. They are pretty far out there. And as we keep zooming in, we are going to be able to see what is so fascinating about the Galapagos that you might not know. And that is that the Galapagos Islands are volcanic. They are all volcanoes and they're particularly interesting volcanoes. So I'm going to zoom out just a little so you can see this again and then zoom in. Sorry, not trying to do a tango with this, but here we can see all these different calderas. So one of the fascinating things about geoscience is that the more we learn about geoscience, the better we are at figuring out how landscapes were formed just by looking at them. So I'm gonna zoom in right here to a volcano called Sierra Negra. And you may have noticed that there are a bunch of volcanoes on this single island. This one, is Sierra Negra, right uh, just about in the middle of my screen. You can see this lovely big caldera. And one of the reasons I know this is a volcano is not only that I see this big circular feature here, but that I see all this dark stuff coming out of it. All this dark stuff that has a beginning point, it goes what I know is downhill and ends in these lobes. Well, those are all lava flows. And just by looking at this wonderful image, I can tell that those are lava flows. Where else is the lava? It's inside the caldera too. So all this dark stuff in here is lava. We're gonna go to a place on this caldera rim just about right here. First though, we're gonna use a tool. We are going to use the ruler tool. Let's see how big this thing actually is. So I'm gonna click on one side of the caldera, or try anyway, and then the other side, and about how long is that? Well, it is about 5.54 miles, or let's do a quick conversion to meters, actually kilometers, uh, which is what we like to use for science. So there we go, just about nine kilometers across. So this is a pretty big feature. All right, let's go to our camp on the caldera rim. I am going to switch to looking at some photos. And here we are, not far from our camp on the caldera rim. We are standing on the rim looking out. This is what this thing looks like. It is this big, flattish expanse, and I'm going to pull up what I think will give us the best perspective on it. Here we are, I'll explain this, uh, what this instrument is in just a second. Here we are looking across the caldera. Look how big this thing is. This thing is huge. And you may have noticed coming in from the right side of the frame, that mist, I'll go back to this picture, that is called Garua, and it is absolutely beautiful. It is not fun to hang out in because it's very moist. You get wet. It's fog. But it would come over in the evenings, come over into the caldera like waterfalls, and it was gorgeous. And you can tell that it looks somewhat magical indeed in the evening light. So let's go back to our shot looking across all the way across the rim. And you can see along the edges here uh, in the far part of the caldera, all that dark stuff, that's our lava. And in fact, really pretty much this whole thing is lava, but that's where the freshest lava is. Now, what about all this lumpy stuff over to the left? Well, let's look a little bit uh, closer at that. So we just turned our view more to the left. Look at these big cliffs, these big kind of weird cliffs. Well, Sierra Negra is a pretty special place when it comes to how it moves. And what it does is inflates when it's building up to an eruption, getting ready for all those lava flows to come out. And then it deflates again as it's erupting, as all that lava is being squeezed out the side of the volcano. And it does that 
by meters. It lifts up over a meter. That whole floor lifts up more than a meter, more than three feet leading up to an eruption. And during an eruption, in days or weeks, the whole thing whoosh, lowers back down again by three feet more. So how do we know that? We know that because we have GPS on the volcano. GPS like this. And they are recording constantly, sending their data to this site on the rim, which is our repeater site. And that repeater site shoots the data back over to the other side of the rim so that it can go down to uh, a station to collect all the data and send it to Boulder, Colorado, where anybody can log in and access it. So we're able to see what the volcano is doing. Let's come back to those cliffs. What the heck is going on with those cliffs? Well, Sierra Negra is a bit of an odd volcano in that it has a trap door. So we can't actually lift it up and go under, but what we can do is see the whole floor of the volcano. Now remember, this is miles across. The whole floor of this caldera goes like this. It lifts up and it lifts up on one end, this western end, more than the rest and that thing pushes up so that ridge that we saw which i'm pointing to now might be hard to see but it's over on the left side or west side of the caldera that ridge is that edge of the trap door actually lifting up and staying stuck up like that so volcanoes do all sorts of interesting things and now i hope that you will be inspired to go explore more about the galapagos not only for their wildlife but because they are very active volcanoes. Sierra Negra erupted in 2005 and again in 2018. It'll erupt again at some point in the future, squeezing out more lava, and the floor is going to keep moving up and down. Hope you have a fantastic day, and I will see you next time when I talk a little bit more about these birds behind me. I have a funny story to share.